Welcome back. Raves or dance parties with thousands of people where drugs, alcohol, and music intertwine. Your teenagers may have even been to one, but these parties can turn from fun events to very sober situations in the blink of an eye. Not long ago, a rave at the Great Saltaire in Magna turned deadly. Now, event organizers say they've taken steps to improve the safety, but is it really working? ABC 4's Brittany Johnson takes you into the world of raves and shows you the deadly dangers. Over the summer, 20-year-old Angelina Gonzalez took her last breath on the cold, hard asphalt of Saltaire's parking lot. We are getting a call of a possible overdose that occurred last night at the rave. That same night, a 28-year-old man would fall from an overpass, his body coming to rest on I-80. He might have survived the tumble if not for the vehicles traveling freeway speed. We've had a, a, a few fatalities along this roadway um, as a result of people consuming illegal drugs um, and alcohol at, at this event. Although the two who died that night did not know each other, they had one thing in common. They were at Saltaire to have a good time at the DOS Energy Festival, a rave similar to this one. These type of events present a lot of problems for, for law enforcement. Lieutenant Jason Ackerman, Unified Police, was one of 20 law enforcement officers hired by event promoters to ensure the safety of partygoers this night. We've seen everything from assaults to, uh, you know, pretty severe cases of, of medical uh, problems. We, we've seen, uh, you know, sexual assaults. We've seen overdoses and, and you know, really uh, all those things of that nature. At this event, ABC4 News did not capture any arrests or illicit activity. These raves or EDM type events are, are notorious for illicit drug use. But Lieutenant Ackerman says it's common and difficult to stop. Yeah. put this many people in, in close proximity and you have dim lights and strobe lights and those type of effects, it's really difficult to see the drug transactions that are taking place. The of occurrence is going to be at the healthcare. UPD says about six people were taken to nearby hospitals on the night ABC4 News was there. It goes from fun party to a very sober situation in about two seconds. Dr. Greg Gardner from nearby Mountain West Medical Center has to deal with the repercussions of the rave culture firsthand. <laughs> dropped off by a friend at the ER this morning at 5 o'clock. They get dropped off and there's usually a gaggle of friends behind them all freaked out that Johnny's not breathing anymore because they didn't think that this was going to happen. Dr. Gardner says most of the patients he treats from raves have OD'd on club drugs like ecstasy, GHB, LSD, cocaine, mushrooms, and more. You don't know what it is that you put into your body. You have no idea. Did you put rat poison in there? Did you put a bunch of bleach? Who knows? You don't know. I've had people that believe that demons are trying to eat them. Claire. I've had people that don't know where they at. Just taking acid, molly. I've had people that are seeing things that really aren't there. Yeah, low GCS, GCS attack. Completely gripped in fear, shaking in a bed, just terrorized by something that you can't tell what it is. It's some, some scary stuff. Sergeant Nick Street with Utah Highway Patrol says the dangers of these events extends to nearby highways. There have been occasions, in fact, I've experienced myself where, you know, you pull over an impaired motorist and, and the people in the car are so impaired they don't realize that one of their passengers is ODing. Sergeant Street has responded to reports of injuries along the highway just outside Saltaire. Ravers high on drugs and struck by cars, but the owners of Saltaire say they are working to improve safety. In a statement sent to ABC4 News, they say in part, Saltaire has always taken measures to provide a safe and secure environment for all of our events. We have also added some recent improvements to our process and procedures. Those improvements include signs warning drivers not to park along the highway, Uber and Lyft drivers, and extra security. Those are all awesome steps. Those are great steps to take. But at the same time, that doesn't mean the scene isn't what it was in the past or that the same dangers aren't going to be there. I'm Brittany Johnson, ABC4 News. Now, research shows children who hear facts about drugs and alcohol from their parents are significantly less likely to actually use them. We have resources on our website to help you teach your children about those dangers. Just go to abc4.com and click on this story.